We're gonna put it all together now and I'm gonna show you how I do my shoulder screening exam in less than two minutes. Something you can definitely do in your clinic very easily. So first thing is inspection. So again, we're inspecting both sides, making sure we have good uh, exposure of the shoulders. And we compare sides again, looking for our swelling, erythema, atrophy, deformity, and scars. We wanna make sure we look both in the anterior aspect of the shoulder as well as the posterior aspect so you can ask your patient to turn around and inspect the back as well. Second is palpation, so again, starting at the medial clavicle, we move our way along the clavicle laterally until we get to the acromioclavicular joint, which we also palpate. Then I palpate the deltopectoral interval or groove along the long head of biceps. I move laterally, palpating along the acromion, along the deltoid region, and then I go posteriorly to palpate along the spine of the scapula, around the scapula itself, the muscular periscapularly, and up the trapezius, and again, up the lateral neck. Third is range of motion. We start with active range of motion followed by passive range of motion if there are any deficits. So my first thing is forward elevation. So what I tell the patients is with your arms together, just all the way up in front of you together, all the way, all the way up to arms beside your ear. Excellent. Now back down. Excellent, good. I'm measuring with my goniometer as I go along. So now face the wall if you don't mind. And same thing, arms all the way up in front of you together and hold it to the top. And now this time, I'm gonna ask them to slowly, when I ask you, bring your hands down in front of you together. Go ahead. And I'm looking for any kind of scapular dyskinesis or protraction or abnormal movements one side compared to the other. Now external rotation, as we talked about, tuck your elbows in in front of you. Keep your elbows tucked in and turn outwards. Good, again, uh, measuring with my goniometer as I go along. Good, back to the starting point. Now turn and face the wall again, and good. And just relax your arms, and how far at the back can you reach? So this is again internal rotation, measuring along the height of the spine. Good, now face forward again. Now I'm gonna test strength. So uh, first is my Job's test, so arms out to the sides. Good, 45 degrees forward along the scapular plane. Now turn your uh, thumbs down. Good, and don't let, me pull, push, sorry, don't let me push your arms down. Again, normally I would do both sides at one standing in front of the patient, so on three, one, two, three, really hard. Good, now tuck your elbows into your side again. Keep them tucked in, and don't let me push your arms in. Again, I would test normally both sides at one time, standing in front of the patient. One, two, three, good. And now we test internal rotation, starting with the injured arm. This test can be a little bit of confusing in terms of giving verbal commands, so I actually face them and mirror it myself, so this is what I'll do. I'll face them and say, take your right arm and put it onto your left shoulder like that, exactly elbow up, good. And don't let me pull your arm off your shoulder, okay? One, two, three. Excellent, watching for the elbow to drop in as a sign of weakness. And finally, we'll end with one special test, which is O'Brien's compression test for long head of bicep slap tear. So again, this is something I can mirror if it's confusing. So uh, take your right arm, put it straight up in front of you, across your body, keep your elbow straight. Good, turn your thumbs down. And don't let me push your arm down, okay? One, two, three. So asking if there's any pain and specifying if there is pain, whether it's coming from the front of the shoulder and the biceps, delta pectoral groove region versus the acromioclavicular joint. And if there is pain, I would turn, say, turn your palms up and repeat. Don't let me push it down, one, two, three. And seeing if that relieves the pain or makes it a little bit better. So that is my shoulder screening examination, something you can do very easily in clinic. This is, again, just a screening examination. If there's anything else you need to test, that is a completely different algorithm that you have to go down. So make sure you check out those videos as well.